So we don't live in a world anymore where patience is of any importance to us anymore, but God rules a world where patience is very important to Him and He wants us to grow in patience. Many people expect the blessings God talks about in the Bible or the blessings that we ask for in prayer to be uh, given to us almost instantly and nine times out of ten that's never going to happen. As we look at 2 Peter uh, chapter 3 verses 8 and 9 says, But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some of us understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And we know that everything in our life happens for a reason, and nothing in our lives happens on our own time, but in God's timing and for His will. And if we truly want to serve the Lord, we should have the desire to have His will come before ours, and to be patient in the things that He says He's going to give to us, and to know that He's going to give, give us those things on His timing. As Christians, it's not only important to practice patience in the waiting, but in the trials as well. Many times we encounter people in life and it seems like all they want to do is just press your buttons. But we have to do, but we have to handle this the Christian way. So whenever these people do come, we have to be slow to speak and quick to listen. Romans 12, 12 tells us to rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and to be in constant prayer. So right there it says to be patient in tribulation. A lot of times people want to pray for patience and think that God is just going to give them the patience. But really it's almost as if you're asking, it's almost as if you're praying for trials. You know, you ask God, Lord, give me patience, give me um, these certain fruits of the Spirit. And what He's going to do is He's going to put you through things in life that's going to bring those, those traits out, those characteristics out in you. And you have to work on those things through each of those trials. So remember, times are going to get tough and people are going to test you, but we have to practice being patient at all times in order to maintain that Christian lifestyle we're called to live. And this last piece isn't any scripture, but it's just uh, some words of wisdom. It says right here, a moment of patience and a moment of anger saves you a hundred moments of regret. And so these are just all things that, that really emphasize what the importance of patience is and, and what God thinks about patience and things like that.